Today we are going to talk about Canada goldenrod, also known as Soledago canadensis. It is part of a large genus of approximately 100 species of woody-based perennials and belongs to the Asteraceae family. All goldenrod species are native to North America and can be found in every province except Nunavut. It grows on roadsides, fence lines, pasture land, and prairie and can tolerate a wide range of soil conditions. Canada goldenrod has lanceolate leaves with three veins and toothed edges. Leaves are attached directly to the stem, are coarse to the touch, and have white hairs underneath. The stem ranges from 20 to 200 centimeters in length and is woody and mature plants. The base of the stem is hairless but becomes densely haired and branched towards the top. Flowers are golden yellow and form dense pyramid-shaped panicles at the top of the plant. Canada goldenrod has rhizomes and fibrous roots which allow it to form large, dense patches. In addition to rhizomes, goldenrod can spread by wind-dispersed seeds. Canada goldenrod is a weed in permanent pastures and perennial forages. It is often blamed for allergies which are actually caused by ragweed. Canada goldenrod can be controlled with herbicides and preventative farming practices. Goldenrod only becomes a severe problem when it has been allowed to establish over several seasons. The bright yellow flowers of Canada goldenrod attracts many pollinators such as bees and butterflies. Due to Canada goldenrod's rhizomes and fibrous roots, it is great for combating soil erosion. It is also a native plant that many enjoy adding to their home gardens. To recap, the key identifiers of Canada goldenrod are stem 20 to 200 centimeters in height with toothed lanceolate leaves, yellow flowers arranged in a pyramid-shaped panicle, and a rhizome root system with fibrous roots.